Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Here you are. All dressed up. <laughs> well, I'm kind of dressed up because we're going to talk lawns to legumes today. We are going to talk lawns to legumes today. And where are we, Tom? Um, <laughs> we're in front of your property and we are um, going to show you a little demonstration garden here that Kelly's put together. But we are on Center Street, East on Center my, Street. On my very busy East Center Street, yes. In Rochester. Center in Rochester, Rochester. And everybody's heading downtown to go to work. And I'm excited because I'm a Lawn to Legumes coach. And I want to show you. I got my... Well, I'm a Lawn to Legumes coach, too. And I don't have an outfit like that. Well, yeah, I went out and paid and, the extra by, bucks and, for it. And by, the way, <laughs> and by the way, that is not a coach outfit. What do you mean it's not a coach's outfit? It's a referee outfit. Oh. <laughs> okay. One for the hat, one for the shirt. Penalty, All right. Penalty, okay. mister. <laughs> anyway, well, I wanted to look a little official here. Okay. Tom's our official. Let's start Tom's the, start, to, let's start over. It's okay. so annoying. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. We're going to start over. Okay. So what do we got here, Kelly? We got a Lawns to Legumes project, and we've got a demonstration garden to show you today, and we've got all kinds of stuff that you can access online and or order. And we mostly want to let you know that the grants have opened for Lawns to Legumes this week. So you can go online to Lawns to Legumes and we will post it below. Can we remember to post it below? Let's post it below. And, and it's awesome because it's $400 matching now. Instead it of was 350. Like 350. Yeah, yeah. So, so a oh matching, a matching, which is awesome. You don't need to pay for this. You get coaches like us whoa look out world i'll come and ref if you want me to <laughs> oh, you get coaches to help you out if you need help with your project um we can drive around and draw animate our screens to draw on your property through a zoom session or we can come to your place and do a site visit or we can just talk on the phone or we can email pictures back and forth but either way there's a ton of resources out there as you all know the state bee is the rusty patch bumblebee and a couple of folks were raving last week at one of our Project Master Gardener, Olmsted County Extension Master Gardener sites, that they have seen a Rusty Patch Bumblebee. And they are few and far between, but they are definitely out now foraging for all that yummy, healthy pollen, getting their protein load in, taking it back to the hive, and doing their thing. And Tom, I saw, You know, I almost thought I saw one at MLK Garden. Yeah, that one time. yeah, you didn't and quite see By the time I get... Them. I know, but... You'd have to pretty much walk around with a camera all the time. But, you know, I'm still on the search for one, and I'm, I'm building my pollinator garden, too. Um, but we're going to show you Kelly's here. And it's what's interesting here is one of the things we'll, we'll tell you when we're coaching is if you want to do a boulevard, you got to make sure that's okay with the city. Well, you need to apply for a natural landscape permit. Yeah. Yep. In the city of Rochester, other cities may be different. Other counties may be different. But here in Rochester, you need to apply for a natural landscape permit. They are free, and you need to just give the plant list you're using. And I really love the Blue Thumb Guide. Blue Thumb is one of the sponsors with Lawns to Legumes. And Lawns to Legumes is funded through the State Board, Minnesota State Board of Water and Soil Resources. So that funding keeps coming through. It's doing really great work for conservation, preservation, and there's lots of ways that you can you can see pollinator gardens. The city of Rochester is actually installing a turf alternatives project at Soldiers Field Park. So everybody can check that out on 4th Fest, July 4th Fest at Soldiers Field. So I, it's not I, all about just playing turf And there's anymore. Xerxes Society. They're protecting the life that sustains us. So they're they're awesome information. Whoosh. And then there's wild ones. And wait, and then, there, and then there's oh, the oh. Go, law site. There's the coaching guide. Oh my gosh. Oh. And here's another blue thumb guide. <laughs> wait, wait. You're, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so, okay. A lot of information, but that's what's wonderful about a coach because you can just call us. You know, one of my uh, Pick up the phone. award Give us winners, they, they, they said there, they sent me an email. Tom, here's the list of plants I'm putting in there. I'm going like, uh... I think you're. I think you know what you're doing. <laughs> it was huge, but anyway, there's a lot of. Wow, there's about a lot there. of traffic this morning. Yeah. Welcome to downtown Rochester, everybody. Remember when you used to have the mowers all the time? Okay. Oh, the mowers, right? Yes. <laughs> all right, so let's okay, see. Okay, so let's take a quick look. This is the first stage of what I'm doing. It's called solarization, and this is what I did the first year before I installed my my rain garden, which is a boulevard bioswale, so it accepts thousands of gallons of water. Um, in a, in a one inch rain event because of the concrete. And let's walk down this way, Tom. Yeah, and one of the things people ask is what's the difference between solarization and occultation? 
Well, occultation occludes the light. Solarization basically takes the sun and fries the plants underneath. Yep, so, so this is an educational site along we don't have enough sun right now. But <laughs> we, we don't have a lot of sun right now. Yeah. But yeah, so this is um, solarization. So it's a great educational example as folks walk downtown, walk back home from work, and they can see the education here. And then... You can still Tom, see some of the green in there, but it's burning. Oh my gosh. The waters, if, so why is this green here on the edge? Do you know? Because it's gotten moisture on both from, from underneath, right? But so it's it, like it continues. Like yep, it continues to get fried. It's a little, it's a little greenhouse frying everything as it goes. Yep, pretty so good. So it's not solar. It's almost like a solarium in there now. So. Yeah. Okay, this is what it looks like now. Here's That's what the first year or and the first look few at months. Kelly. Oh my God! And this was just planted a year ago from small little three-inch plugs. Gorgeous. You can get, oh. you can get wonderful plugs from the Olmsted County. Yes. Okay. All right, we're back, Kelly. We're back. Come on this way. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Oh my God. So this is just one year of growth and we've got um, Lansleaf Coryopsis and look at the bumble in there. He looks like he spent the night in there. He looks a little drunk. Oh, and there's a green, there's a green bee. So we've got two varieties of bees that I can see right now. Yep, we've got, green we've got purple coneflower, Echinacea purpurea. We've also got narrow leaf coneflower here, um, Echinacea, uh, uh, which is that one, Angustifolia. We've got a couple of other daisies. Here is um, Aster Nova Anglia, which is New England Aster. We've got, look at this beautiful purple prairie clover. And it's and gonna, this is a these super are awesome. Food. Flowers, this is a superfood for the bumble. I've got an underlayer of wild petunia that'll fill in as a ground cover, kind of the lower, the lower canopy. Think about Monet's Giverny and how he planted in layers. You think about a lower layer, a middle layer, I've and been the there. upper layer. Been oh there. my gosh, Tom, I haven't been out here. Berries. Check it out. Service berries. Oh. All right. Mm. Now we haven't had breakfast yet, so this is a, doesn't she know we have a show going on? <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like after a year of planting little three-inch plugs. And you can um, find plugs at Prairie Moon Nursery. You can find pollinator plugs at the Garden Lab. I grow pollinators as well, sell them at the farmer's market. Olmsted SWCD I mentioned. There's Glacial Ridge, which is close by. And then there's also Minnesota Native Landscape. So lots of places. All of those are mentioned, not the Garden Lab. All of those are mentioned in the um, resources we have here. So check out the links below. And so this is just an example of a pollinator garden that you can do with your coach. But um, there's many other things. But you know, if you're not using your boulevard for anything but just mowing turf, this is Stop a great mowing thing. It. It's Contact a great the thing. city, find out what you need to do. It's a great place to start um, that really probably doesn't disturb the rest of your property. And then you can go elsewhere. So there's yeah. plenty of things out there. There's ideas out there and everything. So with that, you know what we're going to say? It's a new thing. It's a new thing? It's a new thing. Garden on, Wayne. Are you Wayne? Garden on. <laughs> no. Garden on, Kelly. Oh, oh, garden on, Tom. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're going to work on that. So. All right. See you Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.